I haven't made a video in a while. I haven't been anywhere, but I think it's about time. I am up early, early. I've been at the airport since 4 a.m. and I'm very sleepy. And I'm about to board shortly my four and a half hour flight to Delhi. Let's go. It's a spice? Yes, yes. No, it looks like hay. This is all chili market, like red chili. Come with oh. me. Look at all of these chilies. Oh, Look at that. All of these bags are full of chilies. Wow. And a whole warehouse full. Oh my goodness. They're taking baths. Thank you. 
ですね Can't do anything. No worry, no worry. Yellow, yellow, so yellow, yellow. Okay, it's done. Okay. <laughs> I didn't even see that one sitting there. It's an Indian black cobra. So this had to be a single piece, and then they just carved through it. I almost broke my neck. Not paying attention, but anyway, some other day, people. Um, I didn't show you who mine's to him. I'll show you on the way out. Who did you say these were? This family the members? Royal, royal family. family members, and this is the wrong one. In symbol, it's a phallic symbol. It means man inside. Really? So this is a man because of that. So how do you know what's a woman? Only three men. Oh, only three men. This is Linga. Yeah. Woman Yoni. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That's who my is too. This is my royal family. This. So this is a woman. Yes. But look. Look at the. Some inscription is written over there. Maybe in Farsi or maybe in Arabic. It's a part of the Quran. It's Arabic, but I don't read Arabic. So this is the third set of tombs. And these also have calligraphy. They're all the same. But what's interesting is the first set of tombs that I looked at did not have Arabic writing on them. No, no Quran on them, but the second and the third does. I wonder what the significance, why the first one doesn't. Maybe they were just a different time period, or maybe they weren't Muslim. Yeah. Uh, there's people over there, I can't see them, but there's cows over there, mumu cows. There they go. Okay. Oh, it's a white one. White, black, and brown. Oh, I see the black one. And they're tied up? Yeah. Or do they just walk around? Walk around because you know, you're hungry and people providing food there. You can see the wasted food, they keep it on near the road. Uh -huh. so they would like to come here. And the pigeons having their food. Oh people my comes goodness. to buy corn, corn wheat, uh -huh. rice, or bread, like 50 rupees, 100 rupees. And they provide to the pigeons. Oh, he had some horns. These are lentils. I ate these earlier. They are very, very good. I served the lentils with the bread and something sweet. And over 10,000 people a day. This is free. And it is seven days a week, 365 days a year. He's making the chapatis. Going up there. Into the machine. Press or put the flour on them. But there's no way they can make this many by hand. Oh, then they come out the little round squares or little round uh, ovals. And then they go on the conveyor belt and into the roaster. And you can see all the fire. Cool time. Oh, yeah, that's just straight fire. 
and then they come out nice fucked up this is meat powder bread it's going to serve first they're providing plate one by one for everyone and then after they will provide bread lentil rice some sweet for everyone they're making by hand This is rice. This is spice. Those are spices that they're gonna put in the rice. You know I'm in here barefoot, right? Oh, but look at the ladies. Oh, they're making the bread. Got the dough. They're rolling it out. This is my wonderful guy that took me around today. We've been going since nine o'clock, it's four o'clock. His name is Darmendra. I'm going to leave his contact information down in the description box so that when you come to India, you can request him for a tour. He is A1, number one tour guide. Very kind, very nice and accommodating and explains things thoroughly. Things that you will not find Namaste. on Google. You need him. Thank you. Thank you so much. You're welcome.